Hello and welcome to Tykes TV, uh, a full house again. Uh, so I've got Andy at Red Corner, Ryan with Bearded Tyke, Tom, uh, appreciate you taking time out, and Dan from Grove Street Gazette. So, uh, games coming up thick and fast over Christmas stroke, New Year period. Um, another away fixture last night. Um, Andy. Yeah. I mean, quite a few people have pieced to win. Uh, I, I said I'll take a draw before even the ball will kick, but... Yeah. Again, a decent game. It likes it to be end to end against uh, Peach Beside who were up there. So, what it a yeah. fair result? You know, what were you disappointed? Um, I'd have took a draw before the game, definitely. Um, I mean, I went last night and I enjoyed game. I thought it was a good game. I thought for staff, especially for staff anyway, I thought we made them look average. I, I thought we made them look a really average side. Um, overall, I was quite happy with it. Uh, result. I know it's always disappointing you turn out up and you concede two uh, goals. I don't get that, but I thought how we approach game more spot on, to be honest. Um, we line up um, as well uh, at the beginning of the game. I thought we we're going to be in for a long night here, but I thought um, with defence that we put out, I thought we did all right, if I'm honest. Um, no, I'm, I'm no complaints. It's if you can be picky, it's like what we said before. Um, yeah, we, we, we do need some cover at back, I do get that, but mm. credit where credit's due. I thought we approached it spot on. Uh, I honestly do. Um, and I've got no complaints about last night. Um, work rate was here. Um, I thought Kane, I thought Kane played well, um, yesterday. Um, but overall, no, uh, I'm I'm happy with that too, too. There's not many teams that's going to go to their place and uh, get out, really, I don't think. No. Uh, Ryan, just going off from there, just what Andy touched on a bit. Uh, we knew McCart, obviously, taking, picking up a knock of slight groin strain, I believe it is. Yeah. Uh, Dawson <coughs> went in and bought a few. Oh, it looks like we're going too far at back and we didn't know what, what uh, formation we're going to be. But to be fair, it, he had a few little squeaky bum times, but... Dosh, I don't think I'd back bad again, if I'm being honest. Uh... He did all right, mate. He did all right. I, I, I was same as Andy, I went to the game. Um, it was a great game to watch, I'll be honest. It was a good end-to-end -end game. And, and, and I agree with Andy, how we approached the game were perfect. Um, we know we've got issues at back. We know we're a bit short mm. at back. Mm. But the lads that were in there last night, for the vast majority of the time, did a good job. I know Peter got in quite a bit, but they're a good side. They're going to get in a bit. They're not, they're not up there by chance, are they, in second place? They're up there, they score a lot of goals. They're a good side, so they are going to get, they are going to create chances. Um, you know, I thought the lads that did, did in there did a really good job. Dodgson, apart from that back pass, that nearly a short back pass to Liam Roberts yeah. in first half, I mean, he got there, Roberts. But other than that, I thought he looked all right. Mm. You know, yeah. the effort the lads put in were, were top notch. I can't, I can't fault it, you know what I mean? I think we need to remember and be realistic about it. Is League One football, you know, it's, it is third tier football. So they're not going to play like Premier League players. But what I were really, really pleased with was when we went down, when, when it went to all, the lads didn't fold. In fact, they went completely the other way. They got their heads on and they got back in that game. We were a better team after that. I know they, they, they bar, we, you know, we should have, we probably should have won because, you know, Phillips had that chance to end at first half and he, all he had to do was side foot it and he decided to put his foot through it and sliced it. And then obviously the the old Keith um, rattling barn, I think he hit it that hard. I think Barr's still checking. <laughs> hit it. <laughs> I don't know. He bought it, like I said, like, if he'd have missed it, it'd still been going. But um, yeah, I was really pleased, mate. I, I, probably a little bit disappointed to not come away with three points because I think the performance warranted it. Yeah. Um, but like like Andy said, I had a technical point before the game, as long as we didn't get beat. But I think <coughs> the most positive thing I can take from this uh, from last night was a performance that sideways backwards football seems to have uh, have done one for it. Seems to be it seems to be you know changing it round, and, and that, that that's can only be a positive thing for yeah. me. If we play like that, vast, vast majority of games we're not going to get beat, lads. Yeah. So, Tom, All good from me. All good. Tom, just going to you, mate. Just following up from what Andy was saying. You know, performance, sideways, backwards passing. It seems to be not as much fear, only as and when required. But 
it's pressing, McAtee chasing everything down. Again, I thought McAtee will ruin his socks off. Uh, yeah. And I don't know about you, Tom, but I thought when he got subbed off after 60, 62 minutes, I think our style of play altered a slight touch. I think that pressing intensity went down. But again, performance, commitment. For me, first half, I felt I felt unlucky that we went in two one. It should have been two 0 I don't know what your take on it, Tom. Yeah, I think the thing is it's confidence, isn't it? Um, yeah. Like I said, this team now played together a couple of games. Um, like finally got a full strength, nearly full strength squad. But um, you know, midfield and attack and everything, they're, they're playing together. It's just confidence in it. Like last night, I think, like you said, with this um, tippy tappy around at back, it's. It's, it's going because they're getting more confident. They're believing in each other. You know, they're believing that they can pass into midfield and midfield's going to do a job and all that sort of stuff. Obviously, Connell, I think Connell's brought a lot of that, to be honest, mm. um, since he's come back into the team. But, yeah, I mean, we look like Barnes here old, didn't we, last, last night, really? All that pressing, I think, from the beginning of the season, that's what we all thought we were going to be. Whoever we were going to be a team, it was just going to be like full, you know, that's how we were going to play, you know, pressing, get that ball back and, you know, and then... You know, put on our style of play, but um, yeah, I thought it were it were a good game last night. I said it were a good uh, advert for for League One. Um, you know, just think it. You know, just it just it's back to defence and it sloppy at times. Mm. Um, like I said, I thought Dodson did really well. Just said he's been in an out of team quite a lot. He's not really been playing um, much really, and then he's been asked to come in and do a job last night. I thought Shepherd had come in last night to be honest. If uh, if McCart weren't in, because he seems to be like that left-sided centre back who you'd think could come straight in, but um, Collins just seems to have like you know put him out a little bit, which is I don't I don't know why, but it's just mm. one of them things in it. But yeah, no, I think overall it were a, a decent game. Um, like I said, I took a point before kick off, um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, McAtee and, and Cole were, were getting it all all they're all up front. So yeah, when McAtee comes off, we seem to kind of lose it a little bit don't we so um it's just not really not much we can do about it at this stage of the season a bit weird in bringing um waters on over cosgrove or even jallo to be fair mm. uh, like again waters is one of these who comes in and out team all all, all, all time it's either you know i just i, just, I don't I'm, not, I'm a bit confused stuff like that but but no i think a, a point we're a good uh, well a good point in end i think last night yeah fair, fair comments uh dan just going off from that weight of the Chosians, I mean, we kind of knew that Peterborough were going to come out at traps in second half. I don't think we could have played like that in first half. Uh, we were pressing down and it was a question of whether we could keep it up, that intensity and pressing, uh, pressing down, especially with McAtee. Uh, comments what Tom just said, via, would Jallo, do you think he made a difference or do you think a Cosgrove instead of uh, Max Waters coming on? It, it, I know with the defensive side and it kind of thing, we you know, we conceded just before half time and just after, you know, when we, you know, uh, we kicked off at second half. But again, performance were there from Barnsley. Um, I don't think that, you know, any fans could have come away from that and said, oh, you know what, we play poor. Because I think at full time it was standing ovation. Um, and I think players responded to that as well. Yeah, in all honesty, I, forgot, I completely forgot until Tom told me that Jallo were on bench at the mm. time. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, in all honesty, I would have maybe put Cosgrove on over Waters. Waters, that's my opinion. Uh, I can see why he's tried to. I can see why he's tried. Why he's put water, uh, put Waters on, but I think at the same time, I just think Cosgrove can add a little bit more, and that's probably due to my biasness, my bias towards Cosgrove, because I think. I just think he's a better player than Watters. I, that's just my opinion. Um, I mean, having having said that, I don't know if Jal if we put Jallo on, he's going up against one of one of you know. I think his name's Edwards, Ronnie Edwards, or something. I can't remember. I think his name is. Don't know. But uh, they've got a player at back for a player at back for that. He's one of highest valued players in the league, so it's going to be a tough job for Jallo. So he didn't really want to. I don't know. Maybe he thought that, and he thought maybe he's just not ready to go up against that caliber of defender. I don't know, but I mean, overall, I mean, it's it's it, it, it's like apart from subs, I think we made 
I think we made four we put four mistakes in that game and we got punished twice. And that's very unlikely that that's ever you know, that just shows calibre of a team we were against. Yeah, I think they put Clark Harris on. He'd not played in a while. He's in the big centre forward who scored both goals. I've not played him in a while. And I think they, they played him on this game on purpose because they knew he's coming up against the defenders that's still trying to find the feet slightly. And he's an experienced centre forward and he can bully him a little bit. And that those were mistakes. I mean, the gave me could have probably been a couple of steps in front on him to try and block him from coming across for first goal. And at second one, I think Dodgson who had a great game, didn't put a foot wrong all game. Well, he didn't put a foot wrong. He just let him bully him a little bit and he won't header and he scored. And that were, that's just those fine margins. But overall, apart from that, it, it were, they tried their, they tried their hard. They, they, played, they, played with, they, they played with a lot of intensity. They were really happy with the play. Played up front foot. Really high press, really, you know, pressing high up pitch. Even... When you, uh, I think it was Ryan who said the way we reacted when we went to when it went to to really impressed with that. So you know, um, it's we were unlucky. Peterborough probably said they're unlucky as well, but I, obviously I'm going to be a little bit biased and say that we were unlucky not to come away with three points. But that's football, I suppose. That's football. I'll open it out here. Up, up and flew it up to this one. Was it a penalty with Luke Connell when their player? Because I thought it was a penalty from being I honest. Yeah. I, I thought it was a penalty. In all yeah, a bit, he, got a bit, he got a bit lucky with that, I think. Yeah. Ryan, Andy, what sure, was it? From, from, I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing replays like it. Because from, from, we were down at the other end of the ground. Hmm. From where we were standing, it looked, like, it, looked, it looked like a good tackle, to be fair. But he I'm, just, I'm he never, so touched, he never touched the ball. He just never yeah. took the ball. Um, Did he not? No. no he, 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 like, he, like, he went next to him and he like slid down with him. Um, and got player, yeah. but ball just like rolled, and they were their player that touched ball. And that's why it looked like yeah. it was out of play. I looked at ref straight away, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I looked at ref straight away. My heart went to be absolutely yeah. Yeah. fair. It's about time one, one went for, isn't it? Yeah. You, were lucky, yeah. you were lucky because ball were behind the player, and, and that, <laughs> they could, so ref couldn't see ball. So mm. ref I, I, tackle like you did. Mm. I think the only thing that got him out, Rick Tom, were the fact that the player. Had not gone to try and cut in yet. He was kind yeah. of running alongside Connell, and yeah. when Connell mm. tripped him, he thought the referee might have thought, "Well, ball's gone in front of him, and he's made more start at challenge." Yeah, yeah. Mm. And I think that's what's got it. That's that's how Connell's got away with it. Um, yeah. But Definitely. I think it was a penalty. Yeah. I think it was yeah. a penalty. You were lucky. So Andy, back at Tom on Monday. Just trying to get my day sorted out now. It fixes coming up. So back at Tom. <laughs> On um, uh, Wigan, uh, Wigan come to Oakwell on Monday. Uh, you'd say it's another winnable game, wouldn't you? Uh, Wigan will probably blame us for something else. It's always Barnes' fault with Wigan, isn't it? So, uh, a winnable game, Andy. We uh, couldn't form that we're in at minute. Yeah, you would think so. Um, you know, we, we're going to it full of confidence. We, we've had a good uh, festive period, really, haven't we? Um, so, no complaints. Can't see any reason why we can't. Uh, Take game to Wigan. Um, I know they're in uh, wrong half of table, um, but yeah, they, they're going to be up for it. It's not going to be easy. Uh, I don't think any game is in League One, uh, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for an home win. Um, yeah, I, I, I think um, yeah, I think we should approach it, and uh, I think we'll get a win. Me on Monday. Oh, man. Uh, we'll come to score predictions in a minute, but yeah, uh, Andy's going for an own win. Ryan, uh, would you make any changes uh, to the game? Bearing in mind, I don't know if McCart's going to be in contention, but would you make any changes uh, come Wigan game? Um, no, not really. I mean, m m maybe an actual centre half coming in, coming in for Dodson. But having said that, Dodson played really well. So, you know, is it was that a one off or we're rolling a dice? I don't know. I think the way we played Friday night, yeah, last night, sorry, we're, we're, we're so we're so positive that what why 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 make any changes at starting eleven if it's mm. if it's if it's been such a positive performance. So mm. um and like Andy has, it is a very winnable game, you know. Um Wigan they're a good side, a bit indifferent, aren't they? They're a bit they, 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 they seem to put some good results together and they, they, they lose a field. They had a good result, but yesterday I think they beat um yeah. Carlisle, didn't they, last week two now? Yeah. 
Yeah. So, so they're, they're they're coming on back of a, a win again, a, probably a, a game that they should have won against Carlisle. Um, but I think if we play anything like we did, like we've been playing over, certainly first half against Port Vale, and 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 then I was played against Peterborough last night, we, we should be coming away with three points really. Three points really, Tom. Just going off from that, I mean. Confidence will breed confidence. You know, we played a Peterborough side, which were up there. You know, uh, I think we've only lost one all season at home, Peterborough. So, a good uh, side to go and test us against. I think Dosh has been tested. And I think he, um, I'm sure I heard something on radio, Sheffield or something, we have interviewed him and said, yeah, I, I played at uh, centre-back when I were at Burnley. Um, so, again, it's no strange. I thought it was just a, a left-wing back kind of thing, if I'm being honest. So, Again, would you would you bring McCart in, or would you think no? Do you know what? Against an uh, indifferent Wigan side, keep doshing in. Would you keep same eleven? I think it, it, the thing is with McCart, it depends how bad it is because strains can. It, I'm guessing it's, it's a groin strain. They said he got. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a slight groin strain. So is it with a risk or? Yeah, that's the thing. In it, the thing is, he could feel all right, but then literally in five ten minutes into the game, he could try and run, and it could mm. just literally it could either pull it or make it worse. So. Mm. They'll obviously assess that and know, but um, I won't. I won't lie. Be against putting Dodson, and I mean, thing is, I, I'd love to have Lapata back in there, but the last night proved he's nowhere near fit enough um, to be back in team because although he won a lot of redders when he came on, and obviously that's his strong point, he just looks so like I don't know. So he's that. Pacing, but- he just weren't up. He just weren't up to like if it were Lapata from the beginning of the season when he played like ten more in ten twelve games. On bounce where he got injured, mm. um, and he was playing really, really well. Then you'd put him straight back in, probably. Um, but just last night, he, he just he was towing, uh, you know. Like, so I just think I can see why he's not in team. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'd have probably just stick with the same team. Um, don't don't really know about Styles last night. Um, bit probably a little bit of a tough game for him because he come up against like an actual wing back and a obviously like a wide man. So it were like. It's, it were tough for him. Mm. Um, you know, I'm not saying, be honest with you, I'm not saying Cadden would have done anything better defensively because I don't think Cadden's great defensively, but maybe put Cadden back in there. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's nitpicking, really. I won't say, no, that, that, no. you know what I mean? It weren't bad at all last night. So, um, spends out. Obviously, Collins knows better than us, doesn't he? Right? If who's fit, who's not fit, who's, who's, you know, struggling, who can play two games in, uh, you know, three days or such. Yeah. So, yeah, see see what he does. Good point about Cadden, because I saw, uh, just coming to you on this one, Dan, I saw some uh, people saying, oh, you should have uh, start put Cadden earlier if Styles had a stinker. You were, were not listening to so I'm thinking it's a bit unfair that with Styles because, like you just said, he's actually come up against a decent winger uh, at, at Peterborough. And I'm thinking, for me, he didn't really do out wrong. Uh, Styles, I thought, Mm, it's a bit nitpicky kind of thing. Oh, he should have up, up, up styled off earlier. I'm thinking, I don't think he had that much of a bad game. Or I must have been seeing something different, like. But um, yeah, what we are taking it. Would you make a, a change here? Not with Styles, no. Well, to no? be honest, no. not at all. Um, I thought he played all right. Mm-hmm. I think that's his best position. If I'm quite honest. Left wing back. I've said it before. I don't know why. I don't know why managers. <laughs> Can't say, but every t- I mean, it, I don't know what it is with styles. I think every time I say a compliment about styles, it's like it's like I've stepped on some sort of landmine. Uh, but uh, it's uh, I just think, I just think play, people don't like him because they got the top and bottom of it. Um, but some of it's warranted sometimes. I mean, earlier in the season, he plays best, I don't think, and uh, I think people have it in his head that he don't want to pay for, play for the club and all that. And but I think over the last I don't know, 10 games, he's improved massively and he's got really into it. And I thought he played all right against Peterborough, but, you know, mm-hmm. what do you say about opinions and bubbles? Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I wouldn't make any changes to, to side. I'm, I'm with everybody, really. I think it'd be really cruel on Dodgson to take him out after he's played that, after he's done coming to a, coming to a side, played that position probably for the first time and he's been in and out and he's played that well. I think there needs to be some sort of kind of reward for him to, you know, show to show what he's worth because that's what he's on loan here for. He's yeah. on loan to progress his progress his career and, and put himself in a position where he's either signed by us or signed by somebody else. So yeah. yeah don't if it ain't Brock don't if it ain't Brock don't fix it. So 
it'll be it'll be good for his confidence and all. I think if he uh, obviously if he get if obviously he's been out of team a little bit if if, uh, if he puts him back in again and so I think Dodson's one of them. He'll probably just grow in confidence, way if he's played there a bit as well. Offer yeah, an opportunity. Yeah, 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 yeah. And his young kid and all the knees, not right old. Is he about twenty two? Something like that. Yeah, not yeah. right old, is he? Yeah. So opportunity for him. He might he might want to. Yeah, give me a run gaffer. I'll, I'll show you what I can do against Peterborough and. Might be a little unknown gem beer, which we thought, oh, we just can play left back, and oh, before you know where we are, we've 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 uh, got a, I won't say ready made replacement, but we've got someone in who can do a job. So yeah, fair, fair points. And I would, Andy, I would say, I would yeah, say that Collins is is likely to do that as well. He has shown that he's yeah. done that like so far. I could be yeah. I could end up going back to bite me, but no, there's no reason yeah. not to. So yeah, fair fair comment. Uh, I I I said saying keep keep it as is. I think Tom mentioned it earlier. You don't know if anybody's picked up a slight little knock or injury. Touch wood, the ant tie and turned out since. So, you know, at home, you know, get uh, fans behind him. If I can play like that with intensity, especially like we did against Port Vale and like we did against Peterborough, and set off like that out at traps early and get all well behind him, I think, yeah, could be in for a decent afternoon. Buddy jinxed it now, probably like, but there you go. <laughs> uh, I know you touched on it earlier, Andy, uh, about home win. So I'm going to come to yeah. score prediction, mate. So yeah, uh, Balzi Wigan score prediction. Um, I'm torn between two one or two one nil. To be honest, um, I'll go positive two nil, Barnsley. Two nil, a win and a clean sheet from Andy. Yeah, uh, be it a tyke. What are we going for, mate? Um, I think I, I'm going to say three one. I think we, we seem to be conceding maybe a goal or two here and there. Mm. Um, but I think we've got, you know, we've got, we seem to have a lot more uh, attacking prowess these days. I, I think I'm, I'm going to say 3 1. 3 1. Tom? I'm going for the, the old trusty 2 1 again, uh, like, we, like I did last home game. I just uh, I feel that we leak goals at the minute. So, um, but I think we can. If we can get behind them, uh, which will be uh, interesting. See if we can get behind them this season. Uh, mm. Yeah, I think 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. And Dan, uh, score prediction, mate. Uh, get an early goal. Early goal. It's, it, they're, they're quite leaky back as well. So, you know, um, So I, I'm going to go 3-1. 3-1. All wins up to now. I'm going to go draw. No, I'm all joking. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 and all, Barnsley. Uh, I think, like, I think we've all, like, touched on, but we, we've got goals in us, but we're also, we could leak a goal here and there. And I think, um, well, ever we can set off out at traps, I mean, I'm just trying to think. Last home game, we, we went one note down against Stevenage after four minutes, but we come back to win 2-1. So again, I think that belief and confidence in the squad like now, you've got the midfield trio the last season, Kane, Connell and Phillips. I think they're all excited to gel and click and understand the passes and movements. You've got McAtee who's like closing down, pressing down, shooting from Buddy Wildy, 30-yard screamers. Uh, so his work rates is just the defence at bat, which we all know and we touch upon. Be interesting come January, how we can recruit him that area to shoot it up. Because I think if we can get that sorted out, Stop leaking the odd goal, silly mistakes, and I think we could uh, move on. So, one thing we all can agree on: we're all going for a, a Barnsley win on New Year's Day, set off twenty twenty four positive, uh, and we can build on it. So, Andy, Ryan, Tom, and Dan, thanks for joining me. Have a good New Year to everybody. Uh, everyone. People that's watching back in the stream and leave your comments and everything like that. Uh, score predictions. Let us know what your thoughts against. Peterborough, Watt and Wigan. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good 2024. Let's all be well. It's a bounce of win at Oakwell as well. You make it even uh, better on New Year's Day. So, yeah, just again, Andy, Ryan, Tom and Dan, great New Year. And everybody what's watching, one thing left to say, you Reds. You Reds. <laughs>